Okay, well, great question. Um, In southwest Florida here, we have a lot of new construction, and that's something unique to our part of the country is we're still building. And we're finding that the building is going out east. You know, it started at the – in southwest Florida, the west coast is where our beaches are, Siesta Key, Lido Beach, became populated And then it got out to I-75, and then east of I-75. Now we're going even further east (laughs) until we end up in uh, Disney World. So um, the building is, the new construction is out east. So if you're looking for new construction in downtown Sarasota, you probably probably won't find it unless it was a teardown house in building. But the new neighborhoods out east, are giving homeowners more space and they're focusing on amenity rich communities. Interesting. And mm-hmm. so I guess if you're now, looking at building, uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, and just building, I would say again, what is your lifestyle? And what do you want to be close to? Do you want to be close to the schools, the good A-rated schools we have in the area? Or do you want to be in, on the golf course or a tennis court or, you know, in a boating community? There's even new boating communities. Wow. Interesting. So there's, so the COVID-19 is not affecting um, – a building, right, in southwest Florida? Well, it is. It is affecting the building, but in a good way. The, it's, it, it's bringing more buyers. The builders can't build the homes fast enough now because we're finding people want to leave the bigger cities, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and they want to come here where they have more space. So... It's been great for the builders. And uh, that's I work very closely with the builders in the area. I've been here in, in Lakewood Ranch since the beginning of time. I grew up in, in, in southwest Florida. So I know all the builders very well. And I know, you know, what to look for in a good builder and how to negotiate. So I would recommend having a good realtor on your side when you're looking to build a home. And it won't cost you any more money to have a realtor. The builders pay for, they pay us out of their marketing budget. So the buyer doesn't pay us. They actually come to our office for presentations. Well, they did before COVID or they, they call us or, you know, they, they ask me to bring them my buyers, okay. and they pay me for it. Wow. So, so you are staying busy. Would, 
I'm staying busy. Yeah. So, so building is a wonderful alternative. I mean, it's because the inventory is so low with the resale homes because COVID people not wanting anyone in their home. There are some people elderly, they don't want to have people coming in and out of their home. So they decide not to put their home on the market and buyers are looking at the new construction and finding that they can get a home that's built up to code so they save money on their insurance. They have a warranty on the home, so they save money on repairs and maintenance, and they can get the new floor plan they want, all the, you know, what's in style today, the um, <laughs> instead of buying a home that they might have to do updates and upgrades and maybe save money be better off buying new construction. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, so the builders question, have, go ahead. Mm -hmm. My next question to you is um, about, there's an issue about affordable housing issue. Did you know, mm. or can you elaborate, can you say anything about that? Wow, I know that when it is a seller's market, unfortunately, the prices go up. It's very competitive. So those who want affordable housing, it's, it's tougher to get. I know that that some builders are looking into it, and there are some smaller cottage style homes that are being built in in Bradenton that are kind of the affordable housing and when I say affordable I mean under 200,000 mm -hmm. so that's being done and you know the, there are uh, loans that first time home buyers can get where they may only have to put 5% down and if you're a veteran you can get sometimes 100% financing through the VA. And with the interest rates being low, that could be affordable versus renting to go with a VA loan or an FHA loan. So you're saying and that you can, the lowest affordable, affordable is 200 to 100? No, I would say um, these cottages, that they're, they're two-bedroom, only one bath cottages that are under a thousand square feet, but this is brand new, and they're going for one sixty, one hundred sixty thousand. Okay. So. And that's in Bradenton. For new, not, not in the, it's, it, it's not in. It's in Bradenton. It's in Bradenton. Okay. Now, my next question is, uh, is the difference between the two county in terms of um, um, buildings, Sarasota County, different from Bradenton County, I mean, Manatee County? Is the zoning different? Can you school us about that? There some are some, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. There's a little bit of difference between Sarasota Manatee. I mean, we run together so much. We all, it used to be one big county. It all was Manatee County. And then it ended up Sarasota broke off from Manatee. So we are very similar. Sometimes Sarasota County building codes are a little bit more strict. They used to be more strict. But now I'm, I'm finding that the counties kind of run together now. The, the land is slightly more ex expensive in Sarasota County but not a big difference. But I tend to hear and see that there's a lot of big houses north of a University Parkway, and people tend to say that Manatee County have a sewer system, Sarasota have a well. Do you know anything about that? Can you elaborate? Sure, sure. Well, you know, the... The big houses north of University Parkway, the ones in the, the Lake Club and the Concession and, you know, Country Club East, 
all multi-million dollar homes in there, they all are on a sewer system. There's, there's county water and sewer. If you go out to where there's, there's acreage, usually if a home's on 10 acres and maybe a horse country or, you know, horse farm, they'll probably have a septic system and a well. Now, and you know, you the water, water is good. Mm-hmm. Septic and the sewer and the water, running water, which one is better? You know, it's, it's all depends on where you want to live. A lot of people prefer to be on county water and sewer, but I have had both personally. And if you have good water, if you have a good well, and I had one in, you know, Manatee County, really good water, and then just get a, a water treatment system for the house to get any, you know, the hard water. You save money by not, not being on the, um, the county water because you don't get a water bill and a sewer bill. And the septic systems now, they last 30 years, and it, they require very little maintenance. So it's not a bad thing to be on well and septic. Right. It's it's now, country living versus city living. Right. Now with all this building, I mean, I've been in Florida a long time. Before all this was wilderness, Liquid Ranch World used to be wilderness, you used to see um natural life. Is uh, the environment mm-hmm. static is respected? Um, are we pushing too hard out east? Um, Lakewood Ranch has the... done a fantastic, yeah, they've done a fantastic job of leaving a lot of uh, area for parks and playgrounds and walking, I mean, acres and acres where we still see wildlife. In neighborhoods that are that look, Summerfield started in the 90s, and look at all the the acres of parks where you can still see deer and fox and um, <laughs> alligators. <laughs> They've done a good it. job. Are, no, I see alligator every time I go golfing. There's alligators around. There's a rattlesnakes mm-hmm. and the bobcats. You know. You're right. Mm-hmm. So, Marcia, there's also a saying that it's going to be a, a a town size of Tampa going east. Is that true? A town the size of Tampa going east from from here yeah. from. They said in 20 I, years. Oh. From, uh, I-75 going east, that uh, the area is going to grow to the size of Tampa, which is it, it, I see. It makes see. sense. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. I absolutely agree with that because Lakewood Ranch is only approximately twenty-five years old, and there was nothing here. And now we have a city. We have a city with a hospital and. Everything, you know, restaurants, everything that a city, ha- it's going to grow. I, I would, because the growth is out east where you can get more space away from the hurricanes, a little bit away from, you know, flooding. Right. You it just probably will be. Mm-hmm. You, just, you mentioned the two things we need to elaborate on. I was going to ask you, hurricane and flooding, how you guys mm-hmm. go about building house to avoid flooding and how solid the houses are built to sustain hurricane strength? Mm-hmm. Those are two okay. questions. Separate. Let's start with flooding, flooding first. Right. Okay. Two good questions. So as far as flooding now, what – they want to make sure is that the home is built above the base flood elevation and the FEMA has flood maps for every area that is saying a home needs to be at this 
eight feet elevation or something. So what the new neighborhoods are doing is they go in there and they make 